Hey guys, it's Chef Moorhead here. And I want to tell you guys right now, don't skip around this video. I am here to save you guys $400, $500 right now. I'm a huge Twitch streamer. I love posting my videos on YouTube. I'm here to help you. I sat there and YouTube this right now on how these professional YouTubers, streamers uh, from Twitch uh, edit their videos, post them online. Couldn't find nothing. I mean, I looked for five days, seven days. I sat through a Sony Vega 30-day trial. Uh, felt like I need to have a master's degree in video editing. Uh, there's no possible way that someone can just go ahead and upload a professional video from Sony Vega and not look up one tutorial. That thing is so hard to use. It's like reading Japanese when you're from Redneck America. There's no way. There's no way. And if you tell me you can, congratulations. You guys are awesome. I I really applaud you. I'm not being sarcastic or anything. I applaud you for figuring it out. But I could not figure it out. I'm a Pinnacle Studio 20 Ultimate supporter. Um, I'm not here to throw anything against Sony. I'm not here to throw anything against Adobe. But people that are looking to buy this... I want to encourage you guys, this is awesome, and I will not beat around the bush. I'll answer any of your questions. I'll show you picture in picture. I'll show you everything in this video. If you promise me not to skip, you, and if you already skip, you might as well go back and just rewatch everything I just said, because you guys just ruined it for yourself. Don't do it. I've sat there and watched a 17 minute video on Pinnacle Studio 20, uh, kept skipping, kept skipping. Had to go back and rewatch the whole entire thing. I'm saving you guys a tremendous amount of time. I mean, I'm seriously telling you, I spent seven days to figure out if I'm going to spend $59 or $129, or should I spend $500 on Sony Vega Pro. So I want to go through my setup. I have a Logitech camera. I have a blue microphone. I use those two on my OBS, and I record those two. I have an Elgato which picks up the video games and I record that through its own application called Elgato Studio Creator. Um, so I have two separate files and the cool thing is the Elgato one records your microphone as well. So I have two microphone files and I have my webcam. So the only downfall is, is when you finally get it in here you have to mess around and then this is just a rough draft you have to slide this around and you have to get these to match up and that's the hardest thing you have to play and you'll hear almost kind of like an echo that means you're good but some of these games have copyright infringements such as NHL, NBA uh, almost any game with the music in it you basically have to mute that whole entire thing and then just go off your microphone you almost can't even record gameplay footage because of the music that's in the game. It's copyright and YouTube will mute your whole entire video. So what I'm here to do today is to go over what's awesome about Pinnacle Studio. And I want you guys in the comments after you're done watching this saying, what could you spend your 140 some dollars, I mean 400 some dollars on? What could I say? I'm going to save you $400 here. I promise you I'm going to save you $400. I want you to comment what you saved and what you could spend your $400 on. So, like I said with the last video, I'll show you my cool intro music right there. And my transition. Yeah. You don't know how easy that was to do. All you have to do is right click on this. You're going to go up to Effects and Editor. And then you have a transition in and you have a transition out. And when you click transition in, you have all these bad looking things to do. And you have 8 million different things. You click the one you want. You can change down here how long you want it. Uh, the, the Studio HD ones are only if you get the Ultimate Edition. I have the craziest looking ones and I promise you it's awesome you guys will be like Duh! it is insane each thing 
has his own thing. Like, you can correct your stuff, adjustments, enhance, and straight and red eye. You can zoom in, which is so cool. I can show you guys in a future video on how to zoom in. And then you have effects. And then transition out. Um, I'm also going to have another video where it's all for the Twitch gamers. Uh, where you guys use a setup and you want to blow your thing up. I'll show you how easy it is. Um, but then you have transition out. So this right here is the, my beautiful face right there. That's my face cam. And I'm going to show you how cool this is. And YouTubers and Twitch streamers, this is what you guys want. And I'm going to show you what I'm going to do here. I'm going to open this up. And I already kind of did this already, which sucks. I really wish I didn't do it. So this would be your first screen. This would be the whole entire screen. So it would have been taking up this whole entire thing. You're going to click camera. And we got, oh, actually, just kidding. Pan and zoom. Oh, no. No, that's the right one. Hold on. It's 2D, 3D. And then you got P versus P. It has everywhere you want to put it. Just choose these. Right corner. Do bottom left. Whatever you want to do. And then you can make it bigger. You can move it. And then this makes it bigger for you. And then I'm obviously off the screen. So I'm going to move this over. And then you can drop it down. You can go wherever you want. You can even make yourself bigger. Um, you can even save it. You can do all that good stuff. So the whole entire video, I'm going to be down there. Um, and I'm up top of the thing. Because I'm on top. And I'll show you how I'm on top. It's because I'm, I'm on top right there. So I recorded this. It's awesome. Like I'm just doing jersey review right here. But say I'm playing NHL and I make a crazy badass save. What I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this button. Split clip. Boom. And then we're going to click on right here. We're going to split this clip. Because I want to make my camera expand the whole entire thing. So we're going to click on this again. We're going to go to effects editor. We're going to make sure that this right here is on. It's going to be called keyframes. Boom. We're going to turn this on. So I'm going to play it just a little bit. I'm being hit. And then I'm going to make this bigger. With. And we want to get this bigger. And then we're going to make it a little bit bigger and in a second. Crazy. All right. Just imagine I'm making a crazy ass save right now. And we're going to. Move this over because you're gonna realize like Jersey you're zooming in and then oh my god this save is just ridiculous. I want to zoom really far in on my face. And we're gonna zoom in and then we can even zoom up a little bit. See how it's adding these little white things on the bottom? That's exactly what you want. That and then cool. we're gonna zoom in even further. Just I don't I mean honestly you wouldn't have to zoom in that much. I mean I am. It's not really zooming in because it's a picture-in-picture -picture kind of thing. All right, so we're done. We're going to go out, and we're going to hit save. All right, so watch. This is the preview. Just imagine a breakaway save, and I'm going nuts. I'm being hit and it's good. by that jersey. Ooh. That is noise. I like that. And it goes around their logo. So... That's cool, man. If I had a green screen, you would still be able to see behind me. There would be no issue. But this video here, if I had this, I wouldn't have spent seven days to figure out if this is good enough for me or not. Um, Pinnacle Studio will not let you down. Yes, it crashes, but it leaves you up right where you're at. You might have to do a little bit of tweaking, like, all right, maybe it didn't save my last keyframe or something like that. Who cares? Go back and redo it. It's going to save you 8 million much more times than using Sony Vega. And if you already know how to use Sony Vega, you're probably laughing at me right now and just being, oh, whatever, don't listen to them. 
but I'm saving you $450. You can do a lot with that. I want you guys to comment what you can do with that $450. Uh, I just want to tell you guys this is phenomenal. Awesome transitions, awesome music, very easy to use. Every tool, you basically just highlight it and it tells you exactly what it is. So once you're done, you click the export and you can upload it into 8 million different things. And it's awesome. You just click it and it pops right up and then it tells you exactly what to do and all that. So thank you guys for watching. This is uh, Pinnacle Studio 20 versus Sony Vega. I'm saving you guys $400 here. Pinnacle. If you guys love this review, send me a free shirt. I will wear it. I uh, love you guys. Thank you very much for watching. And until next time, yo! Yeah.